Sorry for interrupting your program, but this is CBS 2 News. Final sign off in 2025. This is a last warning for you, for your area. Now I speak directly to you. WCBS TV will, will cease broadcast 2024. Operated by the Dob. Doppel radar sinking. Affiliated of CBS, CBS TV in San Jose, California. And, and you're watching 11 p.m. news. Maybe not. The time is six. So, so you're watching this. WCBS TV will in Chicago. Your area is in Chicago, New York, Chicago, and New York too. So watch this closely. Live from the CBS Two Broadcast Center in Chicago. This is CBS Two News at six. Tonight, accusations Pope Francis didn't do enough to protect children. And for the first time, we're hearing from the head of the Chicago Archdiocese about a weekend bombshell. Do you believe the Pope should step down as he's been asked to do? Solving Chicago's violence problem. This is a safe place to be in. One teenager at a time. And a sweltering start to the week. Many asking, <laughs> when will relief <laughs> Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. We begin with breaking news at Union Station, where things are a mess again. CBS News' Vince Gerasoli live at the station with more on this story. Vince. Go! Here we are, Rob and Erica, shoulder to shoulder with all of the frustrated Metro passengers who have not been able to leave Union Station for a good portion of the rush hour. And here's what I can tell you. We've been learning that the impacted lines are the Southwest Corridor, the BNSF, and the Heritage Quarter lines. Now, some trains are getting out within the next 15 to 20 minutes, but for at least the past hour and a half, there have been significant problems. Apparently, there is some sort of switching and, and delay problem, and some equipment to actually repair that problem can't make it in. And some trains, as we understand from announcements that have been made here at Union Station, the equipment can't... We love talking to the guy. It's just a uh, big part of what we're doing this program. What he does is infectious. He's pulling his bats. The way he goes into his business. He's just an unbelievable pro. The Bears are gearing up for their final preseason game against the Bills Thursday. It's the last chance for the guys in the bubble to show what they can do. And the question remains whether rookie linebacker Roquan Smith will finally see some game action for the first time. He was limited in practice again today with tightness in his hamstring. As for the starters, their mind is on the Packers while they rest up for the season opener. You definitely can simulate game speed when uh, everyone is holding each other accountable. You know, if I'm a scout team defender and I'm going against, uh, you know, one of the wide receivers that's the starter, I'm going to give him the best look possible when you're really going full speed. Then you get that game-like feel. We're playing against human beings in practice, and Akeem Hicks is pretty big and strong. I think you can't really simulate getting hit by a Mack truck. So, yeah, I'm, I know I'm going to be prepared. We'll all be ready to go. The plan is always to go out there and execute, you know, uh, to hit the ground running. It's not, you know, uh, it's not, you know, hit your toe in the water or anything like that. Um, so, you know, that's one us to, you know, Get prepared, get in our, you know, books, and um, just get out there and start fast. Also, Adele Beckham Jr. signed a five-year contract extension with the Giants, $65 million guaranteed, making him the highest-paid wide receiver in the NFL. And they'll then. Right. So, Shocker. Major big upset. one. Mm -hmm. Thanks. That's our news at 6. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent for Ed and Megan. Have a great night. We'll see you again at 10. Until then, stay up to date. Follow us on social media or log on to CBSChicago.com.